What's up, my fellow cadets? Welcome back to Tales of Arise, Colonel Rivet, at your service. You know the drill. You know, it's nice to go up to a lift and it's actually working. This place has major, like, Vermicia vibes, if anyone's played Final Fantasy IX. I've seen ghost towns that were more alive than this city. Where the hell did all the Danans and Renans go? Yeah, there's like no one. He's gonna be here on his own, can he? Okay, well there's another lift. What's this way? There's like no one to talk to. Nobody here either. Looks like the only building up ahead is the castle. But... I mean, the place is no pretty. No good. It's a dead end. I don't relish our chances climbing, or breaking through, for that matter. And yet, this seems to be the only way inside. Take a look around. There must be a switch or something to... What? What is it this time? Look! Over there! Oh, that looks like our way in. just happened we're being summoned summoned by that murdering monster it's all a demonstration designed to provoke to prove to us no to alfin just what he's capable of kidnapping shion all those people. If it's just me he's after, then why hurt them? Why do all this just to get at me? You hear me, Volron? Answer me! Alfin, this is not your fault. Don't give this to him. <laughs> I know. And I won't. My hands are stained with blood. But even so, if we're going to stop that bastard, then I need to keep going. Let's move. Damn it. How awful. Oh. All of those people in the boats. Do you think they had any idea what was going to happen to them? They did a damn good job of concealing it if they did. You ask me, the only thing on their mind was following orders. And I bet I can guess who from. Volron. The only thing they knew was mindless oppression right to the very end. What kind of purpose is that? Living only to die at your master's whim? 
Being a slave means having your whole life stolen from you. In the worst cases, quite literally. That bastard will get what's coming to him. I'll see to it he does. think it is those people they were all he's sick sick and deranged remember this well this is the true face of who we're up against God, it's the hollowing. Disgusting. Still, if it's not fruits of Helgen he's using, then how do you think Volron goes about controlling all of them? They didn't look like they'd been threatened, but they didn't look like they understood anything either. It's gotta be mind it control. It could be something else, like a potion, perhaps. But frankly, I doubt it. But that would mean they're following Volron out of choice? But why? Nothing bolsters a despot's authority more than loyalty. Loyalty is advantageous for any ruler. For Volron, it means acolytes willing to give their lives for him. As for whether they did it willingly or not, I'd say they're merely puppets dancing to their master's tune. But to the point where they'd give up their own life force? Is that even possible? You just saw it for yourself. And think back to when I was your lord. If I'd asked you to sacrifice yourself for some cause, would you have? <laughs> Dohalim. My apologies. My words got away from me again. No, you're... You're absolutely right. The only difference being that you never demanded such a thing. You wouldn't. All lords are masters in the art of manipulating their subjects' hearts. Whether they use fear, torture, or various other methods, the outcome is the same. Fear. No wonder there's no remaining signs of a resistance force in this place. Oh yeah, there's no, like, lame named resistant group here. I find that inter interesting. We had a, resi a resistance group at the start. That was all great. And then we had the next one in the next city was betrayed. Um, the next one was uh, like working with the Lord in a way. And then the other one was just like evil. Well, not evil, but just kind of like um, douchebags. Oh, Shion. Shion! Wait! Uh, something's not right. came to save you. It's okay now. Closer. Only to do that. 
first we need to get rid of the thorns. So we fight fire with fire. Unless you have a better idea. You're mine. Charge oh, I'm all alone. See ya. Can't die. But I also can't live. Sion! I... I... Sion! We're coming for you! Making more of them? Pain I feel. It's nothing compared to what you're going through. I won't let you go again. I can take whatever you give me! So please, open your eyes! Sion! Rising over! Take this! My turn! Here I come! Hey, drinking orb! You're mine! Shattering the wind! Pieces! Air thrust! Not yet! Raging Cassie! Never see what I can do! There's no end to these! Just keep growing back. If this keeps up, then. Please wake up, Xion! Come back to us! I'm alone. Alone? I'm completely alone. You're wrong. Elfin! She thinks we left her all alone. She can't see us. Or hear us. All of this... It's because I pulled away from you. Because I couldn't hold on to you. Shion. You're not alone anymore. Loss here. And Rinwell too. Kisara. And Doheling. And so am I. How many times do I have to tell you? Not to be so careless. <laughs> there is no more time for us to rest. Let us finish this. I entrust this blade to you once more.
it's showing back. Hey, Alfin. Hmm? What is it? While I was away, what did you do? I missed you. Oh. Alfin. But after what happened because of me. I got a glimpse of the real you. It was worth it. You could say the pain is some kind of reward. Some reward? You sure all that hurt hasn't done something to your head, too? <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> is it just me, or are they...? It's been a while. They're just happy to see each other. I know. I mean, it's fine. We all express ourselves in different ways. Leave them be. They should get a room. Oh, that was quite a abrupt end to that beautiful music. Like, la la la, she's gonna join the party. <laughs> Jesus Christ, ooh. Blazing pillar. Shion. Thanks. I'll be okay. Let's go. We have to take Volron out. Right. Those things that came out of Xion are her thorns, right? She said they're made of dark astral energy. She did. But those thorns are no astral art. And she cannot control them. Such immense astral energy, too. Just what are her thorns, really, I wonder? I suppose she might have an answer, but isn't yet ready to talk. Xion. So, the Sovereign, the Renes Alma, the fate of Lenegas 300 years ago? Yes, that is a lot to take in, isn't it? I never realized the weight of the burden you were carrying. I could say the same. The person you kept mistaking me for. It was Naori, wasn't it? So, what do you think? Could I be her descendant? It seems likely. You two do look very similar. Kidnapping Xion, mistreating slaves, and who knows what other terrible deeds. Seriously? These so-called lords just think they can do whatever they like. I am deeply ashamed to be one of their kind. Uh, sorry, my bad. I didn't mean you, Dohalim. Do you think Volron could have been behind what just happened with Xion's thorns? I'm not sure. If it was bait he needed, kidnapping her should have sufficed. Perhaps he had some other purpose in mind. Her thorns aside, as a hostage, surely it would have made more sense to keep her close at hand. So why did he leave her unguarded? If getting rid of Alfin was Volron's only priority, then he could have ambushed us directly. It's not as if he lacks the power. He chose not to, which means he's toying with us, prolonging Alfin's suffering as much as he can. But why? What does Volron specifically have against Alfin? Is it because he's leading the Danon Rebellion? Possibly. But try to see it from Volron's perspective. He'd do anything to win the Crown Contest, correct? Knowing that the true Sovereign already exists somewhere is bound to ruffle his feathers. Have your paths crossed before, Alfin? Only when I've been with you guys. In the end, we just find more mysteries. What isn't a mystery is how badly we're gonna beat this creep up once we find him. Uh, what a simple and straightforward person you are, Law. Way to give us a heart attack. I wasn't sure how that was gonna pan out for a while there. I'm just glad everyone's safe. Really glad. What about you, Xion? How are you feeling? He didn't do anything to you, did he? The, the last thing I remember is being back on the ship. Back then. Seeing Alfin's pain return to him the moment he touched me. It brought me back to my childhood. The fear in people's eyes whenever they were around me. And the next thing I knew, darkness was welling up inside me. It was smothering me. I, I couldn't see anything anymore. I was all alone. Xion, 
You're okay now. You're safe, Xion. We're here with you. You're not alone any longer. Thank you. Well, that didn't feel great. Those soldiers were just like the slaves, driven by a warped sense of loyalty. Yeah, that was just about as hollow a victory as they come. It's strange. I always thought loyalty was one of the greatest virtues out there. Now I'm not so sure. Is it simply a question of where your loyalties lie? Or is it fealty itself that's the problem? Maybe it only becomes a problem the moment you stop thinking for yourself. So if we defeat Volron, you think they might learn to think independently again? Actually, no, never mind. This isn't the time. We can worry about that after we finish the task at hand and defeat Volron. As expected, Volron's elite guards are quite formidable. Their equipment and training far exceed those of any foot soldier. We need to be careful not to let them exhaust us before we reach Volron. A grandiose castle for a grandiose city. He really didn't cut any corners. They're certainly akin to each other. And yet, I'd say the castle seems even more reflective of its owner's personality. In what way? It feels overbearing, tyrannical almost. But more than anything, merciless. As if any pretense to ease of living was sacrificed in favor of sending a message. One of domination, and a thirst for total power. In other words, the perfect domicile for our power-crazed foe. That's why he let us in. It's precisely the message he wanted to convey. Almost like he's mocking us. That bastard's in the mood to play? We'll see who's laughing once we've taken him down a peg or two. Is it just me? Or is the blazing sword burning even more brightly than before? It's the yeah, symbol of our love. The astral energy within it has become more powerful somehow. It would appear Alfin has learned to harness his sovereign abilities to even greater effect. Is that true, Alfin? I... I'm not sure. I don't think I'm doing anything differently. You're not. It's proof of your strengthened bond with Xion. No further explanations needed. Oh man, for real? Nice! Is that true? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Fat lot of good the two of you are! I may have a theory or two I could offer. Yeah, no. I think we're good. Now that you mention it, though, I guess I have noticed a change. It's like there isn't as much resistance when energy's being siphoned from my Master Core. Aha! So it is a Bond thing! Aw, oh, you guys! Wait, what about your hand? That thing practically used to give you third-degree burns every time you wielded it, right? tisara has got a point. And if it's gotten even hotter since then... I won't lie. The searing heat and pain are almost unbearable. Almost. When I'm fighting, I'm somehow able to endure it. It's like... the sword becomes part of me or something. Like I can feel it pulsing through my chest. I... can't describe it. In other words, your heart burns with a flame more powerful than even that of the sword. Fascinating. It's love! Yeah, take it from our resident poet laureate. <sighs> hmm? Begin. So where is he? There's no sign of him here, so I can only assume he's waiting for us in his throne room. What's with all the fake suspense? Why doesn't he just come out and face us? I'll say. It's not like he's had any problem doing that in the past. This is all one big game to him. He's probably savoring every last moment. Like a zoogle toying with its food before the kill. No wonder he doesn't have any friends. This is all just a ploy to weaken his prey, wearing us down before the final ambush. It's all too well orchestrated to be anything else. <sighs> Alvin? I'm fine. Once we defeat Volron, the final Master Core will be ours. 
With that, we can create the Renesalma and finally put an end to this whole nightmare. Fucking <laughs> garbage. What is this place? Look! Over there! Yeah. Looks like there's no backing out now. Ah, the old Roaring Beast welcome, eh? No class. Look sharp, everyone! Voron rolling out the red carpet? Yeah! Some hospitality! Can we all concentrate on fighting this thing? Tempest, not on my watch! We've been far enough! enough. This one's mine! Go I'll for the weak point! Can't get out of this! You've been wrong! Look, hey. so let's get up! Ring. Tiger Blade! Try harder! It's the 
Get any of that.
cheered you all on. Flare from Malisha! There! Her Her You'll pay for that! Guardian Mega Phoenix! Mega Phoenix Rock! Let me out! Leave now! Pierce! I'll be Take this! this. No, 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 no. Not in your dreams! Mega Phoenix Rock! Ready and raring! Explosive oh, ring! I'm gone! Mega Phoenix Rock! Make it rain! All yours, Kisara! Did it? Everyone hanging in there? Just about. Though if we have to waste our energy on many more like that, I don't fancy our chances against Volron. We gotta try to conserve. That sound again. You must be worried we'll have a change of heart. He's certainly pulling out all the stops. Alfin, I know it's hard, but we have to stay focused on moving forward. I know. Are you doing okay, Xion? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Thanks. They don't know what else Volron's got up his sleeve. Be careful, all right? I'll go check and see if the coast is clear. What is it? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Just wondering what that was all about. Huh? It's just, um... You don't think Xion is acting kind of weird around Alfin, do you? Like standoffish weird? Isn't she always like that? No, not that. I mean, since we rescued her. Then I guess... Maybe it's the identical ancestor thing. Maybe. I guess that could be it. You sure you're not reading into it? <sighs> what? What'd I say? Nothing. Just forget it. <sighs> I can never win with you. You know that? <sighs> I wonder if we're getting any closer to finding Volron. I sure hope so. We'll find him. And when we do, there'll be hell to pay. How?
Okay, sorry, I just couldn't resist. Hey, Kisara. Have you noticed how Shion... Seems to be grappling with something all by herself? Yeah. She's been acting differently around us ever since we rescued her. The same towards Alfin, too. Now that Alfin's regained his memories and his sense of pain, maybe she's become more self-conscious that she still has her thorns. In which case, it makes sense that she'd be feeling out of sorts. But I can't help but think there's something else, too. You're wondering if there's anything you can do to help her. Xion said something to me once. Something that helped me move forward. So I'd like to return the favor and do that for her, too. The only problem is, even if I did have the chance to talk to her, I don't know what I could say that would help. Xion's dealing with a lot right now. Maybe more than she can handle. Trying to unravel the threads of her own worries? That's challenge enough itself. Not to mention that trying to wade in blindly would probably end up making things even worse than they already are. But... how do we help her then? For the time being, I think all we can do is be patient and keep an eye on her. That way, when she's finally ready to let us in, we'll be right there to lend her a shoulder. I hope you're right. Goodies. Gold gel, nice. Omega elixir, lovely. Oh my god, that's another healing point. Oh. So if Volron is the lord of the water realm, then it's probably safe to say he has some water abilities tucked up his sleeve. He and Alfin couldn't be any more different. It's like they were practically born to be rivals. Looking back on it, in both of our previous encounters, he's only ever fought us with his sword. We haven't seen what else he's capable of. And yet, even with only his blade, he still managed to overwhelm us. He's a force to be reckoned with. That much is certain. Yeah. That guy is seriously bad news. <laughs> It'll be okay, Hoodle. We'll get through this. <sighs> Shion? It's nothing. Let's keep moving. Well, till next time, guys. Ooh, it's getting exciting. Feel the ribbit signing out.